how y'all doing? It's me. I'm back. I'm down here in Laredo. Down in Laredo. I just made it down here. I don't know. It's not a load down here for me. Um, or a load that I want to pull. But they are backed up over there, so I'm guessing. Um, when I say they backed up over there, <sighs> you see pulling loads in, so it'll probably be late on this evening when I get a load. I ain't tripping though, I don't really care. I care, but I don't care. Tell y'all something. Um, week before last, because today is the 31st. So, week before last, I had did it. Well, it wasn't week before last when I did a video. I don't guess it was. I don't know. I don't know really when I did the video. But I know I told y'all in that video, like, mentally, I've been, like, really fucked up. Because, um, last week, on the 18th, I was here in the riddle, and it was, I, I was hot, I was mad, and everything. Okay, it's still hot down here, okay, true. But, um, I had, um, went to sleep, and I woke up later on that evening, and I got up, and I left. So, um, when I left, I, um, I, um, went to the, um, Flying J. And I talked to a driver. And, um. Actually, one of my YouTube subscribers. So then I left there, and I went on up the highway. So I'm riding real good, y'all. Ain't gonna lie, I'm riding good. I'm feeling better because it's cooler. Uh, it's not as hot as it was earlier that day. But oh, this was late at night on the 18th when I got up and left. And so it carry over to the 19th that morning. I'm riding. I'm about 30, 40 miles from um, San Antonio. So I see this truck, right? And then in front of the truck, I see a vehicle pulling a trailer. So um, I'm still riding good, crew set, and all this stuff. So then I, um, I get over in my left lane because I got close enough to the truck. So my GPS picked him up. So I get over in my left lane and, um, to go around the truck. Not my GPS, my own guard picked him up. He was moving slower than me. So um, the own guard had started to slow me down to match their speed. So I got over in the left lane. So I, um, I go around the truck and um, then I see the vehicle pulling the trailer. So I go around the vehicle, which I already saw the vehicle. So I'm still riding happy go lucky or whatever. Then I um after a little while I check my um passenger side mirror. I see a car back there. So I'm far enough away I can't um, get over. So I put my signal light on to get over. And um I got on over and then um I guess out of habit I checked my left driver's side mirror, my left mirror, and when I look in my mirror, they're far enough behind me to I'm seeing them in my left mirror, and that truck was back there, running that car over, in disbelief, I look back over in my right mirror, and sure enough, he was running the car over, they went out to the right, 
And um, all I see is this truck just going up and down in the air and stuff like that. Like in the box going over into the ditch and stuff. And so I get down on my brakes. And I um, I stop. I finally get my truck to stop. I'm loaded. Well, always when I'm leaving out of the radar, I'm loaded. I finally get my truck to come to a stop. I'm a good ways down the street from there. So I grab my phone and I call 911. And um, grab my other phone to pull the um, map quest up to see exactly where we was because it's like there was no landmarks right there. So um, when I put myself up on the map, it was showing that I was just south of Parasol, Parasail. So I um, I tell them that it's just south of it's 100. So I tell them it was on the northbound side of I-35. So I tell them that and um. I grab my vest and my flashlight and I get out and I start walking all the way back up there to where the, the accident is. So I, well, before I made it there, it's like all of a sudden panic starts sitting in on me of knowing how bad it was or how bad it looked in my mirror. Knowing these people probably didn't make it. So I stopped. I stopped walking. Then I re regained myself. And I started walking back up through there. I see the police and stuff like that. They come. And so they um turn around in the median. And um, I make it up there to the truck. And I was looking at that truck. And just looking at the truck alone. I like the people in that vehicle. I don't know what they made. So, um, I go on up, um, and so the police officer, I can't even see the car. I can't even see the car. And, um, police officer, they can't see it either. They out there with their flashlights. All I can see is this girl, and I guess, where well, she had to be a passenger or the driver of the truck. And she was just falling down on her knees and covering her face and stuff like that. I'm like, man, this is bad. So, um, I don't know if the guy was the driver, but I see him get back up in his truck and he was reaching for something. His truck was messed up. He was reaching for something. I don't know if it was his idea or what it was. So then the other officers, they had their flashlights walking out in the woods. I guess they're trying to find the car. I don't know if it was up under the trailer, if it was on the train tracks, where it was. I don't even know. So then I, um, the police officer, he come to me and, um, they took down my statement and got all my information and stuff like that. And, um, that was that. Oh, another driver, he pulled over. And by the time he made it up there to where I was, he was like, you okay, you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. It's still shaking up behind me. And so, um, he had told me that he come around that truck. Because in my mind, I'm like, I don't know why he didn't get over in the left lane. I'm like, I don't understand why he didn't get over in the left lane. And, um, but after talking to that other driver, that driver was like, he come around him around about the 22 and he was all over the highway and so um but he had stopped to get something to eat only to get on up the highway and um now this truck I had a red and ran somebody over and I wasn't behind them I wasn't right beside them or whatever the case may be but based on my view in that mirror that driver could have got his ass over in the left lane. So then I got to thinking, um, if he had on guard or not. So I called my brother, and I was like, "Do y'all have on guard on y'all trucks?" So my brother was like, "What's that?" Then I was like, "Fuck, they don't even have on guard on their truck." 
and I thought about that because I was thinking about what the other driver would also stop with me had said about the driver being all over the highway. And um, so I explained it um, to him um, what it was. And then he was like, nah, we don't have that on our trucks. And so I don't know if the guy or the woman, because I don't know which one was driving, if the guy had fell asleep or what it was, but I was like, you know, if they would have had on guard, excuse me, that would have slowed his truck down and prevented him from running that vehicle over. But at the same time, if you're tired, if you just pull over, then things like that wouldn't happen. And then, also, I'm trying to figure out how the fuck was he so tired when you're just leaving Laredo? And I'm basing this off what the other driver said, saying that he was all over the highway around about the 22. Then, somebody mentioned to me, I told the story to him, maybe they was doing something sexual in the truck. Could have very well been. I don't know, because I don't know who was driving. I don't know if the man was driving or the woman was driving. I don't know if, um, she could have been a trainer, or he could have been a trainer. What I don't know if it was two students. I, I, I don't know who they was. The only thing I know is that accident didn't have to happen. And ever since then, I've been trying to find out if the people made it or not. And so I don't know. They could very well be dead. Based on how that truck looked, on one hand, I'm kind of thankful that I didn't see the car because I don't see no bodies in my lifetime. Lord Jesus. But I, I, it's just one of those situations where you just don't know and it eat at you and eat at you because you don't know if the people are okay. And then the other part is, I've been kind of beating myself up because I panicked. Like I said, when I was uh, going back up to the accident, I stopped walking because I got scared. And so I panicked and I don't know. I told somebody about um, me panicking and they kind of made me feel worse because they was like, Are you stopping and the people probably needed your help. And I'm like, they probably did. I'm almost certain that they needed my help. Oh, like, I called 911. I stopped my truck. Somebody, I told somebody about it. They was like, were you in the accident? No, I wasn't in the accident. I just saw it in my mirror. They're like, why you stopped then? It was behind you. Why you stopped? I'm like, why I stopped? Because I see this accident happening. And so, somebody need to call 911 because the people in the car or the driver could have been seriously hurt. So, somebody need to call 911. I see it taking place in my mirror. So, it kind of fucked me up. So that's what I've been thinking about. That's like what's been on my mind. Now finally I done shared it with y'all. I came, this is my first time coming back to Laredo since that happened. I went by where the accident happened in. I ain't like it. I was looking on Facebook uh, and somebody had showed there was a picture. And when I saw that picture, there was another one of their trucks that ran into the back of another truck. I'm like, damn. And then that just made me rethink about the accident. And so, I don't know what the fuck they doing. They need to do something. They need to put all guard on this shit. I know some people don't like it, but in situations like that, it helps. It will help. So, I don't know. And I don't know if the people made it or not. So, and by the time I made it to the wreck, um, like I said, the police was turning around. And they all was trying to... Um, they was walking out there in the woods and the weeds and stuff trying to find the car, the flashlights and stuff. And so, I don't know. I didn't talk to the driver. Um, 
So I don't know, like I said, I don't know if he was driving or she was driving. I did see the guy get in the truck and he was reaching for something. So I made the assumption that he was driving because maybe he was reaching for his license, his wallet to get his license or whatever. And um, I'm also assuming that the lady was inside the truck with him because she didn't appear to be hurt. She was walking, then she kind of squatted down and she was talking to the police and she put her hands over her face. So I'm just making the assumption that she was in the truck with him because she didn't appear to be hurt. But as far as the people in the car, to this day, I don't know. I don't know who they didn't call me either. But anyway, y'all, that's my story. Hold on. So that's my story, y'all. <clears throat> I'm finna get off here. I guess I do y'all. I might do y'all another video. But that's what's been had my mind messed up. Thinking about that. don't know so what uh, anyway I don't have a load on me. I don't have a load on me so I'll probably finish I don't know order me something to eat or something I'm getting my bed watching a movie. I started watching The Legend of Tarzan, but I didn't finish it. So I don't know. So, yep, yeah, that's still been on my mind. And that's when I was going to South Carolina. Shoot up! But anyway, y'all, let me get out of here. My phone ringing again, so I'll talk to y'all later, all right? Bye.